Hi everyone, I'm Dave the Prayer Guy. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it and I hope that it is an encouragement to you to pray more missionally, to fuel God's mission with prayer. And what do I mean by God's mission? Well, I mean the Great Commission of making disciples, helping those disciples to grow to maturity, and knowing that Jesus is with us to the end of the age. And also, the Holy Spirit will give us power as we are witnesses to his love and to his glory. And, and so just check out all my videos. I hope they're an encouragement to you. And as we move into fall and the cooler temperatures, I want to talk about the fact that um, when this video is posted, I am on vacation. And this summer, my wife and I was out walking and she made this suggestion you know, what if we take a week, we do a staycation, we don't go anywhere, and we just watch the movies that we love, the movie franchises that we love, like Star Wars, Harry Potter, um, Star Trek, um, just to, to name a few, Indiana Jones, um, kind of those classic movie franchises. And so it got me thinking, you know, she suggested this while we're on a walk, and I said, yeah, let's do that. And so we're going to have a good time of just, you know, binge watching some movies. We might even do a side trip, uh, a day trip someplace to Acadia National Park. But for the most part, it's just going to be watching movies. And and for me, watching movies and getting lost in a story is one of the ways that I am restored. And, and so, yes, there's great entertainment value for me. And... But, but a lot of times there's a restoration, there, there's an encouragement, there's an inspiration that I get from watching movies. And, and so and that's why I love movies. I love getting lost in a story and how um, usually, you know, usually I, I, sometimes I get inspired or I get reminded of the story. And it just gets me thinking. And sometimes it gets me thinking, believe it or not, about God's mission and my role in it, praying, it gets me excited. Um, yeah, and so since I'm thinking about movies, I thought it was a good time to discuss how movies could be used to advance God's mission. And of course, the first place I want to talk about is Christian movies. There's a lot of Christian movies out there with a good Christian message, the gospel is proclaimed. Um, clearly in some of these, some of them not so much. Some of them are a little goofy and not well done because, you know, they're they're not the Hollywood elites, the people who really know what they're doing with making movies, but they've gotten better over the years. And and so let's not be a sleeper on those. I mean, I, I might not watch one this week while I'm on vacation, um, but they're still good. I still watch them. You can maybe, you know, suggest a movie to one of your non-believing friends or maybe suggest one of those Christian movies to a believing friends, too, because they're going to need the encouragement. But, you know, pray for good Christian movies to keep coming out. Good stories, good quality acting, good um, editing and directing and all that stuff, because it's going to make that craft better in, in one more way we can get the message out there and but sometimes you know when watching a secular movie there's little glimpses of of gospel truths in there that you can kind of mine if, you, if you're watching closely and talk about it with your believing friends and your non-believing friends sometimes it's obvious like spoiler alert harry potter um, it's been out for years, so if you haven't watched it now, you're probably not going to. But <laughs> anyways, Harry Potter in the last movie, he dies and comes back to life. He, he's uh, he's kind of has that Christ, uh, Messiah, Chosen One vibe to him, how he had to die in order to, to save the wizardry world um, from the evil of Voldemort. And then, then he comes back to life. And so watch it. It's a, it's a, it's a very good movie. Um, and that's just an obvious one that I can think of off the top of my head. But, you know, sometimes you can find those things and you can point them out to your non-believing friends. It's like, hey, you know, have you ever thought about this and really talked about it? Um, my, uh, oh, I think of the Narnia movies on the Disney and um, 21 Century Fox put out. Um, they didn't always follow the books very well, but they still, like at the end of Don Treader, they still have, 
Aslan telling the children, you need to get to know me by my name in your world. Um, and he talked to them. What, what do you think the author and the writer of the movie meant by that? Um, yeah, so just be looking for that stuff. Be praying. Have your mind open for stuff like that. What are your thoughts? Add them to the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. And, and just pray. Invite friends over to watch movies with you. If you have a prayer request you only want me to see, head on over to Facebook. There's a Fuel God's Mission with Prayer Facebook page. Send a message there. It will just come to me if you do a message in Messenger. Uh, and, and I will be glad to, to pray for you the moment that I read it. All right, speaking of prayer, I'm going to go ahead and pray and then close out the video. Lord, thank you so much for your love and your grace. And thank you that... Um, there are people making Christian movies with strong Christian messages, Lord. And even some in our secular movies, you can kind of see glimpses of, of your message just coming forth because um, we can't come up with anything better than what you did on the cross, Lord. And there's little glimpses and hope and all that stuff. So, Lord, um, help us to use movies to kind of, as a jumping off point, to talk about you with our friends that know you and our friends that don't yet know you, Lord. And make it a difference, Lord. I'm praying for revival. Bring many, many, many people to faith and awaken the Christians to prayer and your mission. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, if you haven't already, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, God bless, and may the Lord be with you.